Where are the four areas you need to palpate to identify inguinal-related groin pain? The studies by Haybor et al. 2023, Thorborg et al. 2018, and Weir et al. 2015 guide us through it. These four areas to palpate are, number one, the rectus abdominal muscle and insertion, slightly lateral to the belly button, then follow it distally down to the pubic insertion. Number two, the pubic tubercle. You want to palpate the lateral and the craniolateral border of the pubic tubercle, where the inguinal ligament and the conjoint tendon inserts. Number three, the inguinal ligament. You want to palpate the medial five to 30 millimeters of the inguinal ligament. And for those who think in inches, that's around a quarter to one and a quarter inches. And number four, the medial border of the external ring. That's an area around half to three centimeters at the lateral border of the rectus abdominis. So those four areas are rectus abdominis, pubic tubercle, inguinal ligament, and medial border of the external ring. You need to palpate all four areas and always ask the athlete if the pain they feel during the palpation is their injury pain. We're not just looking for pain, we're looking for their pain. In four out of five athletes with inguinal related groin pain, you'll reproduce their pain at one or more of these locations. And when you combine that with the history and positive abdominal resistance tests that I'll take you through tomorrow, 90% of the time, you'll identify inguinal related groin pain every time.